In the midst of the harsh winter of 2026, while many EVs still struggle to keep the basics running in sub-zero temperatures, the Tesla Model 2 arrived at testing with performance that simply shattered expectations. The promise was bold, to offer efficiency and reliability even under snow, ice, and biting winds. And the most impressive thing is that this promise seems to be being fulfilled. During evaluations on mountainous routes at 12 days or degrees and freezing urban cycles at 0 degrees, the Model 2 not only withstood the cold, it shone. What was supposed to be just another technical test turned into a demonstration that compact electric cars no longer need to run from the cold. Imagine taking a compact electric car, driving it through a completely frozen city with heavy traffic and stops at every corner. And yet, it continues to run as if it were a warm spring day. That's exactly what Tesla engineers did. And the results are leaving competitors from China, Europe, and even the US speechless. While other similar models lose energy quickly in the cold, the Model 2 has shown almost absurd stability, especially for the price range in which it will be launched. The secret, of course, lies not only in the battery or the hardware, but in a combination of fine-tuning and embedded intelligence. Tesla seems to have taken a step further by rethinking how the vehicle behaves in cold weather. The updates to thermal management, partially inherited from the Cybertruck project, have shown that the company is taking real-world vehicle use seriously, not just in laboratories or temperate climates, but where life really happens on frozen streets and mornings where even your cell phone freezes in your pocket. In the urban routes tested, even with frequent stops at traffic lights and peak fuel consumption due to cabin heating, the Model 2 maintained surprisingly high range levels. And this isn't marketing hype. The numbers came from measurements in real-world environments, with data collected by sensors and confirmed by independent engineers. When the first reports leaked, Many people thought there had been a mistake, but the more tests were repeated, the clearer it became. Tesla had truly overcome one of the biggest Achilles heels of EVs, winter. And there's more. The Model 2 was subjected to drastic temperature variations, facing stretches that started at Sakpritudixi and ended with peaks of Taipul years at high altitudes. Even so, the car's behavior remained consistent without sudden power loss, without failures in the traction system, and, best of all, without surprises of the battery suddenly draining. This may seem basic for a combustion engine car, but in the world of electric vehicles, maintaining this consistency in the cold is still a rare feat. Moreover, what most caught the attention of analysts was the fact that the Model 2 doesn't rely on a gigantic battery to maintain its performance. No monstrous battery packs hidden in the floor. The car maintained its lightness, its urban profile, but with energy efficiency worthy of much more expensive models. And this begins to redefine what you expect from an EV in the $25,000 range. It's as if someone had discovered the trick everyone had been looking for for years and simply put it in an affordable compact car. It's hard not to be excited about the implications of this. Until recently, Buying an electric car in Canada or Northern Europe meant dealing with absurd range drops in winter. Now, for the first time, it seems that a truly affordable model is breaking that curse. And that changes the game. It ceases to be a niche choice and becomes a viable option for those who face freezing days but still want to save money and drive with environmental awareness. While the industry was still digesting the initial results of the Model 2 in sub-zero temperatures, a piece of information came to light that surprised many even more. Tesla didn't rely on a single solution to address the challenges of cold weather. Instead, it decided to test two distinct battery chemistries, each with its own thermal behavior, but both focused on efficiency and stability. On one hand, an improved version of the traditional LFP battery, the Chinese favorite, known for being cheap and safe, but sensitive to cold. On the other, a bolder variant, equipped with a silicon anode, 
designed for use in the Fremont and Giga Texas production lines. These two types of batteries were tested under the same conditions. Ambient temperatures between 12 tours de Cours and 2 de Cours, urban routes simulating real traffic, and even mountain stretches with large variations in altitude. What's impressive is that both delivered results above expectations. The LFP battery, which generally struggles in cold weather, showed much more stable behavior than any previous generation. The silicon battery, even as a more experimental prototype, performed so consistently that some are already saying it could become a benchmark in the entry-level category. What makes all this even more interesting is that Tesla didn't just observe overall range. They measured the thermal response rate, battery behavior during charging, and even the impact of cold weather on fuel consumption during short and long trips. This type of analysis is normally only done on luxury vehicles or laboratory prototypes, but now we're seeing this level of engineering applied to a model that will sell for less than $30,000. Frankly, this is something only a company that wants to lead the market, not just keep up, would do. The LFP version came directly from Chinese partners who have been working with Tesla for years, but underwent an internal optimization process, including thermal management algorithms inherited from the Cybertruck. The silicon anode variant is a bolder step, as this type of material tends to suffer from thermal expansion, expanding and contracting with temperature changes, which can affect its lifespan. However, Tests indicated that Tesla managed to maintain the stability of the package, avoiding abrupt variations even when exposed to intense thermal cycles. What's most interesting is how each chemistry responded differently, yet efficiently. The LFP showed a more predictable, almost linear energy loss, which facilitates the calculation of real-world range in cold climates. The silicon chemistry, on the other hand, showed more resilient behavior with smaller drops even in the most extreme cold. This could be a game changer for markets like Norway, Canada, Russia, and even northern US states, where drivers endure long, harsh winters and can't afford to be stranded. One thing few expected was to see a silicon anode battery perform so well in this price category. This type of material is usually reserved for luxury EVs, like those from Lucid, or Tesla's own top-of-the-line models. But now, seeing it tested in an affordable compact car is almost like witnessing the arrival of a premium feature in an entry-level smartphone. It changes the standard of what is expected. And if this is indeed the battery chosen for mass production, competitors will have to scramble to catch up. Another point that caught attention was Tesla's choice not to announce these two battery versions in advance. Many people only discovered the existence of the parallel test when the data was compared. This strategy may indicate that the company is still deciding which one will go to each market. Perhaps the LFP battery will be destined for Europe and Asia, where cost is the most critical factor, while the silicon battery will go to the North American market, where cold weather performance is essential even for short daily commutes. The data began to take shape and made it clear that what was once considered a technical limitation is now just a memory of the past. The loss of range, historically the biggest enemy of EVs in winter, was drastically reduced in Tesla Model 2 tests. And the most interesting thing is that this didn't happen by miracle or by hiding numbers behind promises. The range was measured, recorded, and compared to international standards, such as the European WLTC Winter Cycle. The new LFP of the Model 2 lost only between 38 and 42 miles on a 250-mile route at 10 during turns, something that puts the car on another level. For those accustomed to compact EVs, this difference seems absurd. Similar models from BYD and MG, for example, register losses of between 55 and 70 miles under the same conditions. And this isn't just a matter of numbers. It's a difference that, in the real world, determines whether you'll be able to commute to and from work without needing to stop to charge, or whether you'll be able to visit family on the weekend, even in a snowstorm. And the Model 2 delivered this security without promising a gigantic battery, without exaggeration, just with well-executed engineering. 
Now, when you look at the silicon anode version, the results are even more intriguing. Despite the complexity of this type of battery, tests showed even less loss, 31 to 35 miles, on the same circuit and at the same temperatures. This puts the Model 2's thermal performance on par with EVs that cost twice as much, like the Mustang Mach-E, or even more expensive versions of the ID. Or, the feeling is that, if Tesla really wants to, it can redefine the entry-level segment with reliable, no-nonsense range. The secret, apparently, lies in how the Model 2 manages energy use. The combination of adaptive algorithms, optimized battery architecture, and how the car balances heat and traction makes all the difference. It's not just about protecting the battery cell from the cold, but about understanding when and where to use energy, even in situations that simulate real-world use, with short stops, uphill climbs, braking, and constant acceleration. In one of the most realistic simulations, the Model 2 covered a 43 tree preach circuit at Aders in an urban environment with the cabin heated. The test was repeated without the central heater, using only heated steering wheel and seats. The difference? The range penalty dropped from 15.6 km to just 7.4 km. This, in itself, shows that Tesla is thinking about every detail of everyday use, from those who drive to the bakery, take their child to school, or face traffic jams in the cold. It's worth remembering that this efficiency isn't based on a gigantic battery. The Model 2's battery pack should have between 48 and 52 kWh, modest compared to rivals that have up to 60 or 70 kWh. Even so, it's delivering more usable range in challenging conditions. This suggests that the focus wasn't just on adding more capacity, but on using every watt intelligently. And, frankly, that seems to be the only sustainable way to democratize the electric car. The scenario became even more interesting when the tests moved on to fast charging in extreme conditions. To this day, this is one of the biggest frustrations for those who drive an EV in cold weather. The car simply refuses to charge properly when the battery is frozen. The waiting time doubles, sometimes triples, and efficiency plummets. But the Tesla Model 2 surprised once again. After facing temperatures of 10 dry degrees, the two prototypes, one with an LFP battery and the other with a silicon anode, were immediately connected to a 130 kW supercharger. And what happened there shocked many people. The LFP model required only 14 minutes of preheating to stabilize the charge, achieving consistent and reliable charging performance. The silicon-based model performed even better. Nine minutes of preheating, even after running frozen for over half an hour. This is faster than many luxury EVs achieve under ideal conditions. For comparison, competing vehicles in the same price range typically require 20 to 30 minutes of warm-up before they begin charging with any efficiency. In some cases, especially in regions like Scandinavia and Canada, this time can be even longer. The secret behind this advancement lies not only in the battery chemistry, but in the extremely refined thermal management. Tesla has applied intelligent heating logic that distributes heat more quickly and locally, concentrating energy where it is most needed before recharging begins. This approach, inspired in part by the Cybertruck's thermal system, allows the vehicle to reach the ideal charging temperature without wasting energy. And all this happens while the driver has a coffee or waits a few minutes in the car's heated interior. Moreover, the interior is also part of this equation. The Model 2 cabin doesn't require full heating to be activated for preconditioning to work. While other cars need to activate all systems, which consumes even more energy, the Tesla works in the background, directly heating the battery while keeping comfort systems off or operating at minimum power. It's a practical solution that saves energy and time, something that makes a big difference on a cold morning when every minute counts. Another crucial advantage was how Tesla optimized the time between turning off the car after a cold ride and starting the recharge. Instead of allowing the battery to cool down completely during the interval, the system maintains an active thermal window for a few minutes, 
enough to accelerate the resumption of charging. This small window, often ignored by other manufacturers, makes the charging process happen almost uninterrupted, even in adverse situations. It may seem like a detail, but in practice, it completely changes the user experience. The data collected showed that even in sub-zero temperatures, the Model 2 maintained charging rates close to 118, 126 kilocalv at V3 stations, which is quite an achievement. This speed in a car of this category simply doesn't exist in the current market. And this paves the way for a new type of use, the affordable EV that you can use in winter without becoming a hostage to waiting or excessive recharging planning. The freedom of knowing that you can stop, charge, and continue your journey, even on a snowy day, is something that until recently was reserved only for those who paid a very high price for it. After the fast charging tests, it was inevitable that engineers would move on to the second biggest challenge of an EV in cold weather, keeping the cabin warm without sacrificing range. This has always been a dilemma, warming the car and watching the battery disappear, or saving energy and freezing your fingers on the steering wheel. But the Tesla Model 2 brought a very different approach. Instead of simply shrinking the heat pump and hoping it works, Tesla redesigned the entire heating system, focusing on real efficiency, adopting solutions that are not only ingenious, but extremely practical for everyday cold conditions. The new system uses a smaller but much more efficient heat pump than the Model Y, with a denser coolant that maintains pressure even at extremely low temperatures. This means that the heat does not dissipate before reaching the vehicle's interior. The control is so precise that the cabin reaches 21 farnams in less than 4 minutes at 8 or so, and in less than 6 minutes at 12 to 20 so. This is an excellent time, especially when compared to rivals such as the Renault 5e or the BYD Seagull, which take twice as long to reach the same comfort. But the real advantage lies in how the heat is distributed. Instead of simply heating all the air in the cabin, the system prioritizes surfaces in direct contact with the driver, seats, steering wheel, and even a heated strip on the windshield, ideal for preventing rapid fogging without turning on the full defroster. This allows the car to deliver a pleasant thermal sensation without needing to use the heat pump at maximum capacity in the first few minutes, drastically reducing initial energy consumption, which is usually the biggest problem during the first starts of the day. This intelligent system is controlled by an algorithm that monitors the cabin's internal sensors and dynamically adjusts the heat flow. If the car detects that you've only gotten in for a quick trip to the market, it doesn't even waste time trying to heat the whole car. It delivers heat directly to key points and only activates full heating if it senses you'll be staying longer. It seems simple, but this type of adaptive logic is rare in compact EVs and makes all the difference for those who routinely make short trips in winter. Tests showed an average reduction of 800 to 1,200 watts in heating consumption in the first 10 minutes of use, depending on the outside temperature. Furthermore, the system stabilizes after that with a constant demand of around $1,600, which is 35% to 40% more efficient than competitors in the same price range. This not only saves energy, but also ensures a more stable experience throughout the journey, without sudden temperature drops or consumption spikes. Tesla also tested the difference between driving with full heating and using only localized heating. On a 43 km 3T Tinan input its urban circuit at Ater, the range loss was 15.6 km with full heating, 